So what are the symptoms seen in patients having enlarged or hypertrophy turbinates? Because the hypertrophy turbinates occupy a large amount of the nasal breathing space, the patient experiences nose block. Whenever there is nose block, the patient has to compensate by breathing through the mouth and this causes dry mouth chapped lips, bad breath from the mouth. In patients having nose block and patients who breathe through the mouth during sleep because of the nose block and the mouth breathing, these patients can have snoring and sometimes associated sleep apnea. If there is coexisting allergy issues along with the hypertrophic turbinates, patients can experience recurrent sneezings, itching in the nose, watering from the nose, itchy watery eyes, itchy throat and ears. If the patient has coexisting sinusitis, then his nose block will be even more severe. He'll experience headaches, reduced sense of smell and taste, post-nasal drip and congested or fullness in the ears. In most of the cases, along with the hypertrophy turbinates, there'll be a deviated nasal septum, allergies or sinusitis issues. And because of this, the ventilation to the ears get affected. When the ventilation to the ears get affected, there can be fluid formation in the middle ears or holes in the eardrum. 